A number of years ago, I had an SDA pastor friend. Um, loved him dearly. He loved me. Um, you know, came to my house at times where there was great discouragement, and uh, we had open and frank conversations. Ran into him one day, and uh, he was telling me about the latest Daniel and the Revelation seminar. Now, the church had. Uh, renovated uh, this beautiful, um, beautiful, huge, basically double the size of the church. Yet, when he showed me the flyers for Daniel and Revelation, it was held somewhere completely different. And I asked him about that. Why would you not use the beautiful building that was in place? He said that they did not want people to know that they were Adventists. Did not want people to have the chance to say no. Wanted people to think that it was just a regular prophecy seminar and that when people came they'd be given SDA viewpoints and then the final meeting would be held at the church to bring everybody in. Now this is something that the SDA church has practiced for a long time. Uh, they've been practicing for many many years and still do today purposely hiding who they are in their published materials, uh, particularly when it comes to the meetings, and like the Daniel and Revelation meetings or the stop smoking and the health stuff. And then later we'll start giving in the, the uh, SDA, or let it be clear that they're SDAs after people have come to the meetings. Quick question for Seventh-day Adventists. Why does your church practice deception and why do you stick with a church that practice deception?